What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to another question dealing with tricks. So John sees the top of a 40 meter building from the ground at an angle of elevation of 70 degrees. Alex, who's directly behind John, sees the top of that same building at an angle of elevation of 40 degrees. How far apart are Alex and John? So let's draw a diagram here. So let's say that this here is the building. This is the ground. So this building we're told is 40 meters. And then we're told that John sees this building. So let's say John is right there. He sees this building at an angle of elevation of uh, 70 degrees like that. Okay. So John is there, and then we're told that Alex, who's directly behind John, so let's say over here, this is where Alex is, sees the same top of the building at an angle of elevation of 40 degrees. So drawing this here, this here would be 40 degrees, like that. All right, that's the angle of elevation for Alex, that's the angle of elevation for John. And what they're asking is how far apart are John and Alex? So they're basically asking for this distance right here between them. We could call that X. Now, in order to solve that, notice that we actually have two right angle triangles. So if we draw them separately, so the first one, we got 70 degrees and then we got 40 meters right there. So that's to where John is. And then we have this other right angle triangle, the larger one, which would have an angle right here of 40 degrees. And then it's still 40 meters right here for the building. Now, if you think about it, if we could find the length of this side, let's call it M, right? Which would be the length from here to here on the diagram. And then if we could find this length, which would be this length here, n. Well, notice that this x value, right, the distance between Alex and John, is just gonna be the difference between those, right? It's gonna be this m value, right, which is the longer length, so from here to here, minus the n value, this length right here. And then the difference is gonna give us that x value. And so if we could find the values for m and n, which we can do with these two triangles, then we could take the difference between them to find the distance between John and Alex. So question is, how can we do that here? So starting with this triangle, notice that we have this angle, we have this side, which we're solving for, which is the adjacent side, and then we have this side, which is the opposite side. So which ratio deals with the adjacent and the opposite? The tan ratio. So we can go tan of 70 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So it would be 40 over n, like that. Okay, and then same thing here, this m here that we'd be solving for is the adjacent side, this is the opposite side. And so we would use 10 again, but it would be 10 of 40 is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, like that. And now we could use both of these equations to solve for the m and n values. So here, if we isolate for the n, so let's cross multiply, so we'll have 1070 times n is equal to one times 40, which is 40. So n would equal 40 divided by 1070, divide both sides by 1070 to isolate for that n value, like that. And then if we follow the same process, cross multiply here, so we'll have m times 1040 is equal to 40 times one, which is just 40. And then M is gonna equal 40 divided by 10 of 40, like that. And when you do those calculations, you'd get an N value of 14.6 meters and then an M value of 47.7. So then taking those values, putting it in here to find this X value, it would be 47.7 meters minus 14.6 meters. And that would give us what, 33.1 meters like that. Okay, so that ends up being the distance between John and Alex. All right, so I first found the distance um, from Alex to the building, 
which was um, which was 47.7. Then I found the distance of John to the building, which is 14.6. Then the difference between those ended up being 33.8.